Hello crafty people and welcome back. Today I'm going to be playing with some more resin and alcohol inks. However, I'm not going to be doing the same kind of thing that I've done in the past. In the past you'll have seen me put them um, into a silicon pan and drop colours of ink into the clear resin and turn it out and we'll see what happens underneath. This time I'm going to do it slightly differently. I am going to do my resin work on one of these panels. If you have seen my Jerry's video where I'm unboxing all of my new painting um, and art surfaces, you'll have seen these. These are the Da Vinci Pro panels. They're a birch wood painting panel. This one is seven eighths of an inch thick. It's a cradled panel and um, hard wood, which is ideal for working with resin because it doesn't bow in the middle. So I've got a nice flat, perfectly level and square surface to work on. So I'm going to work on this one. This is a little six inch square one. Um, and I'm going to cover the surface with uh, a white colored resin, first of all. In order to color my resin white, I'm going to use this one. This is the DecoArt Media Fluid Acrylics in Titanium White. I'm going to add a few drops of that. I know that it doesn't make it um, like really, really bright white unless I add a lot of it, um, but I don't want it. I want it a little bit softer because what I'm going to do is drop then, once I've got the, the white resin on the surface, I'm going to drop colors of alcohol ink into that white resin and we will see what happens. I'm expecting them to spread out and make little colored pools, a bit like it does when I do it into the clear resin, but I also want to try out the gold. Uh, these are the Tim Holtz Ranger um, inks and I've got this one, which is a gold alcohol ink. And it doesn't react the same way when you drop it into resin as the other, other colors do. So I want to drop it into one of these panels and see what happens. I'm expecting it to kind of spread out, but at the same time go kind of into little bits and pieces of metallic. So we will see what happens. Now, when I work with resin and alcohol inks, I like to use my little gas mask here, my respirator. So while I'm doing the actual arty bit itself on the panel, you won't hear me talking because I'm going to be wearing my mask and you won't be able to hear me say anything. So I'll put some little music in there. If you don't like the music, then uh, turn that off, of course, and I will come back at the end and we'll, we'll have a look at the finished art and uh, t talk through it. Also, I'm going to put this one on normal speed. Sometimes when things are, you know, taking a long time, I'll have a tendency to speed them up, but some people have asked if I can keep them on normal speed, so I will do that with this video. And then if you want to speed it up, if you go to the little gear icon down at the bottom of the video, I think it will be in this corner down over here depending probably on what platform you're looking at there's a little gear icon if you click on there then you have some options to increase the speed so if you want to make it go faster you can click on the one and a half times or two times speed and then it will go faster or you can just drag the uh, the little arrow along so that you can skip through parts of the video into interesting parts that, that um, appeal to you so I'm gonna get my gas mask on I'm gonna get my resin mixed up and I'll see you back here at the end once it's all done
So here it is finished and I'm kind of happy with it, kind of not. As you can see the gold in it is glorious. The resin finish is absolutely perfect, flawless, glossy, smooth, everything you'd want it to be. And when I move that gold in the light you can see how it really really shines. However I think if you look at it as a whole from the front the gold um, has basically kind of spread out a little bit over the colours and muted them. So where they were quite bright colours as I was adding them, once the gold spread out, and I think here, let's see if I can focus in here, here is a good example. You see once the gold has spread out, it kind of makes everything look a little bit dull. Um, and it sits on the surface of the other colours and kind of mutes them. So I think it's kind of been enjoyable doing it and I like the effect that you get from the gold, but I'm going to have to practice and experiment a little bit more to try and keep the other colours a bit more vibrant. And also I went a little bit overboard, things spread out a lot more than I expected them to and spread out a little bit more also during the drying process. So I didn't end up with any negative space, which is what I had wanted originally. So it's it's been um, a fun and useful experiment. I'm not overly um, happy with how it came out compared to what I thought it was going to look like with a lot more bright colours, but it's been um, interesting and now it'll be time for me to give it another try and see what I can do with this idea next time. So thanks very much for watching, uh, stay crafty and I'll see you here again soon.